this is part one of my uh, scorpion adventure so obviously you're gonna be seeing this with it all put together because it's gonna be a quick video you know anyways so we got the cage here it's a 40 gallon tank um, front opening cage with a lock so they can't get out I've got the um, hideouts and water dish right there that I bought for them um, I put it in there without any dirt because I still got to get the dirt and I still got to get the uh, pebbles and everything to go at the bottom to make the water layer. I got the light. These water dishes actually came with this. This was a, um, a bearded dragon setup. And so it came with a bunch of stuff, but it was way cheaper than buying the tank and everything else separate. That's why I got a 40 gallon instead of a 20 or a 10. Um, as you can see in there, I got the thermometers. So yeah, we're going to get an Emperor Scorpion. We might actually get two and eventually breed them male and female, obviously. And I'm thinking when I do breed them, just put like something right here in the middle to split it. And they each get their own side. Each get about 20 gallons, which I mean, should be plenty for an Emperor Scorpion. They only need about 10 gallons to be happy. But I figured the more the better. Um, and then if for whatever reason, Emperor Scorpions are not for me. I have a setup for a bearded dragon and can have a bearded dragon. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for our next part of this adventure, putting it all together when we actually get the dirt and everything. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be getting all that. That's my hope. But I mean, like I said, you'll be seeing this video all put together. So I guess stay tuned for the next few seconds. All right, everyone, welcome to the second update of the video. Uh, I now got more stuff. I've got the clay pebbles that we're gonna use to separate the uh, layer of dirt and um, so the water that's gonna be left over. And we've got some more substrate there. It's not gonna fit in the 40 gallon. Obviously that is not very much substrate, but I'm gonna mix it with um, peat moss and um, potting mix. I've got some more like timers and stuff like that. The lights already had that. Um, and I got, that's the box for it, but I'll show you here. Yeah, a nice background. It's a rainforest background there. And I've got the temperature gauges in there and humidity gauges. Nothing put in there yet. There's the stand for it. I still got the box here. Um, so my next day off of work, I'm going to focus on getting the um, the layer of clay pebbles on the bottom, and then we're going to put the dirt and everything on top, and then we'll be ready for a scorpion. I have a few more things that are going to be coming in the mail to put in there, like a skull and some some cool hiding places for the scorpion, but right now we're just waiting for my next day off and then we'll get to building it and hopefully I can set it up to where I can record where I'm putting everything in and getting it all set up. Um, yeah, see you guys in a few seconds when we come back later.
setting up our cage here for the scorpion. And first thing we want to do is put the uh, clay pebbles in. Um, I just used the scoop. These are kind of small pebbles, so I had to put a pretty good amount of them in there. But you just want a nice little layer for water to get caught under. Um, and you guys just watched me put these in here, so we saw it go down. Hopefully I got those gauges set up right. If not, I guess I can try to peel them off and reset them. Um, but we're going to put a dirt layer from these pebbles all the way to this line here. And that should hopefully be enough for them to bury or uh, dig. So the next thing we need is our nice little cloth that we have here. Just ignore my food and everything there. I need to get like a professional tripod stick. But we just got like weed barrier here that we're laying down that's going to uh, stop the dirt from falling in between the rocks, but still allowing water to pass through. And that way, water will pass through and we'll put the substrate on it. And then we'll be ready to decorate. So we're gonna get the substrate mixed. I'm probably not gonna record the mixing because I have to go outside of my apartment and do all that. No, I don't have to try to record it with everyone walking by and everything. So we got that portion done. Now we got the next portion. See you guys in a bit. So we're gonna do a mix of potting mix, eco earth, and then some peat moss, uh, just to help them uh, dig and actually stay in tunnels. And we're just gonna put it in this bucket, fill up with water. And I'm not gonna record the rest. I just thought I would show kind of what we're putting in there. All right, everyone, so I got the cage fully finished. I got a skull in there, and I do have, I don't know if you can see it, but I did dig down under the skull so they can stay under there if they want. They got that little hidey hole in there. They got all their moss and everything. Water bowl, which isn't full because I don't have any scorpions. And then that little mountain thing kind of came with the cage, so I just decided to put it in there and see if they like it. If not, I'll just take it out and maybe put more dirt over there so they can bur burrow more. And here's another hidey hole. As you can see, there's that much room for them to, well, about that much room for them to dig, which I feel like isn't that much. So over here, I did make like a mound so that they have, let's see, it's like that much for them to dig and burrow. So hopefully, hopefully just the front is enough, but if not, they got that area up there that they can try. Um, I do have this plant in the back, I forgot what it's called, but it's some sort of like grass that I found at Lowe's and put in there, which I thought would be nice for them to have. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully we'll get the scorpion sometime soon and then I'll make another video of them in there and we will record them running around doing stuff. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. A like and subscribe and keep an eye out for more videos on the scorpion. Bye.